In the month of September, I decided to dedicate the whole month for our recipes in an hour of my late mom. So this was supposed to be the last video, but I couldn't bring it to you uh, in September. And I decided to bring it to you now. And also I was doing some inquiries about it, <laughs> some information. I needed some information about it. Okay. So we are making liha. This is a popular Ghanaian street drink, which is originated from the water part of Ghana. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Lena. So I have my maize here. I'll soak it and it will be in the water for either a day or three. Okay, but mine stayed in the water for three days. And after three days, this is how it looks. I'm just going to strain it and then we proceed. So after straining it, I will divide it into two. I will place some on the floor, on a very clean floor, and one in the tray. I'm doing this because the first time that I made this, oh my goodness, the one I placed in the tray didn't germinate early, and I, I go angry. <laughs> so I'm just going to show that to you as well. So I have this on the floor, and when I was doing this, the, the same question I asked my mom, my daughter asked me, they said, mommy, why on the floor? Hmm, doesn't look good. <laughs> that is not good. That is not clean. That is what I told my mom the very first day. I saw my mother doing it. But see, there's nothing wrong with it. So each and every day, I'm just going to add some water to it, as you are seeing on the screen, so that it can sprout very well or germinate very well. Okay. So I divided it into two, one on the floor, one in my tree this is the one on the floor has started germinating and also i will show you the one in the tree so i used to argue with my mom that the aliha is not the same as asana my mother would be like see i've prepared some at home drink it okay it's the same thing i said no it's never the same thing i don't like it when it's proud like like sorry to say i am a time <laughs> Okay, it's the same question my daughter was asking me. Mommy, why would you place that thing on the floor? No, it doesn't look good. Put it in the tray. <laughs> so the first day, you can see the difference. The one in the tray, they are not that long. Okay, the sprout doesn't look long like that. This is the second day. And this is the second day in the tray. So when I got married, that was when I got to know that Liha is the same as Asana. So my husband told me that madam is the same as Asana, okay? And it was originated from the water part of Ghana, as your mother was telling you. Why your argument? <laughs> that is just by the way. So this is the uh, the day will be on the screen. I think that that is day two. And I realized that the one on the floor, okay, they've germinated very well. So I decided to add the one in the tray to it. And that is at the extreme end, okay? The extreme end one was the one I got from the tray. And the next day, oh my goodness, the one that I added to the one on the floor, okay, just look at it very well. The next day, they germinated very well. So I have verify this twice that if you place it on the floor they germinate very faster than in the tree okay but you can do anything that you want to do but i'm telling you from two experiences okay the first one that i did and this one that if you place it on the floor they germinate very well so the next day just look at that you can see at the extreme and the one that is close to you was the one in the tree you can see that they've germinated very well very long just like the one that was you see this one this one was the one that was in the tree you can see that they've germinated very well okay i can say that maybe a foam no enemy that is why they germinate very faster like the floor is very cold Okay, that is why they germinate very faster. So now I'm just I'm just going to take everything, okay, and then place it in the sun so that it can dry very well. So asana is not the original name. The original name is liha or aliha, but the guns copied this and then they changed the name to asana. They didn't 
steal it okay <laughs> stop saying stop saying they stole the recipe <laughs> they copied it do it in their their own way and then change the name to asana so it's, it is not asana and it wasn't originated from the gang community but it was originated from the voter part of ghana and it is called aliha or Eha. so this has um dried very well i'm just going to blend it very smooth and i will be with you very soon I will place this one in my water and then keep it for two or three days. One thing that I I was confused why I couldn't bring you the recipe is that you know palm wine is made from palm tree. That is quite it is that is why it is called palm wine. Okay. So when I saw the liha or aliha, I asked my dad and mother in law why is it that it is called aliha? It was made from a blee, which is corn. So why not a bleha? And my dad was telling me that he, he's as confused as I am. <laughs> so he doesn't understand why it is not a bleha or bleha. The a ble or ble you are hearing is corn. We have two languages, which is the Amuno language and the Vedome language, okay, in the Volta region. So some people will call it Bli, and other people will also call it Ebli, is the same as corn. The Ha, you are hearing is Aha, which is drink. It can be alcoholic or non-alcoholic. So when you add the Ha, which is the Aha, to the Ebli or the Bli, it should be Ebli Ha. Or bliha, so why liha and aliha? Then I sat down quietly and I was like, Oh, okay, when you remove the b from it, it will be liha or aliha. Do you get it? If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section, and if I'm right, let me know in the comment section. I always don't want to bring you information that I don't know anything about, that is why I couldn't bring this and I waited so. I was able to get this. And before that, when I brought you the Joe or the Dakwa, people were saying that this is originated from the northern part of Ghana. Please no, it was originated from the northern part of Nigeria, Benin, and then Togo. And all these countries, the Volterians migrated from these three countries. So when they were coming, they brought the recipe to Ghana and they spread it out. So Joey wasn't originated from um the fancy community as some people were saying also from the northern community but it was originated from the volta part of ghana and the recipe spread out thank you so much i hope you understand it and thank you so much for being with me from the one to now so now after straining everything i will go ahead and then boil it for some time okay and then i our sugar and the water is also becoming um brown after it is brown i will just add my um water that we we boiled okay bit by bit and then we are good to go thank you so much for your time once again now i realize that it has become very dark okay so i'll add i'll add some ice cubes to it and so that the color can go down very well for me okay now um when you are frying the um sugar and the water okay make sure it doesn't become bent else the liquor will be very bitter okay yes so as i said earlier this was from the volta region and the guns changed the name to asana so it is never asana it is liha or aliha now it is ready serve this add some you can add some evaporated milk to it and it is so good my angel enjoy this and i'm going to do it again thank you so much for watching and so i come your way next time do not forget to share to others like comment and follow for more videos thank you and see you in the next video bye